Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs, and in today's video we're playing some randomized rogue lands with Zero the Assassin. Let's get to it. Alright, we're going to see what randomized skills we get. I'm hoping to get something decent. I really do not want to have my gear relied upon to carry me all the way to the promised land. It's possible to do it. If you get some really nice gear, maybe a lady fist and a bee shield and a, you know, just carry yourself to the end with that kind of stuff. But I would like if we can get some help from my skill tree, that would be insanely nice. Okay, as far as our gear in the beginning, I think this this pushka might be the way. I'm not I'm not against giving other weapons a try here. Lots of shock damage weapons. Okay, let's see our skills. Skills that kills. You guys are wondering why I have five points? Because I'm playing Rogue Lands Mini. Let's take one point in anarchy off rip. I i I'm seeing down the skill tree we have money shot. So we go Anarchy, Ranger, Money Shot. Smaller letter, faster. The nth degree. Because if we're going to be stacking Anarchy, we're going to want some extra accuracy, which is where we have accuracy at all. I'm not sure how much anarchy I'm going to want to be stacking. No kill like overkill over here. We're going to do or die. And we have a lot of splash damage scaling. All right, let's range for this. And as far as weapons go, make sure we got a launcher in slot four. It's going to be this bandit one. Let's give this Grenadier a chance, because we, we literally just... We literally just upgraded our explosives, our grenades. And so this Grenadier, I believe, will scale with that new uh, grenade damage value. Okay, my grenades are strong. It's not it's not a bad assault rifle right there. Not bad at all. And it fires and bursts when, when it needs to. When I aim down sight, it's not so bad. Is that doing CC to him? I can't tell. Who's over here? Hit this guy. I think that's homing in. Yeah, it is. Alright, let's just take a second to wait. See if we can get a burst off. 515k. It's doing something. There we go. And then I can shoot at this guy with my burst fire. And there's only one of him. There, that worked. Very nice. And what I am going to do to stack up Anarchy better, and I haven't accidentally reloaded early so far, is rebind. But reload weapon from R to star. There, now I'm not going to accidentally reload early. It's a miracle that I haven't done it yet. Maybe I did. Is what it is, though. I think... Realistically, I'm, I'm looking for, like, a Ravager or something like that. Ooh, asking you shall receive. Not a Ravager, though. But asking you shall receive. That's gonna get my grenade damage scaling and a little fire SMG to boot. I'm, I'm never gonna be upset about a little fire SMG to boot. Later, kid. Don't speak to me. And I missed my shot. I mean, I, I really don't think I actually missed... I personally think that was a hit. Just the pellets didn't go on a pattern that helps me out. Maybe I'll just aim down sight then. Make it a little bit easier on myself. The singularity could be helpful. Okay. Pop this. Incendiary damage can be okay. And shield recharge rate. Just like that. What was my original relic that I had? Launcher damage. Okay. I'd rather have a shield recharge rate, to be honest with you. I think shield relics are a little underrated. Watch this recharge rate. Once it kicks in, let's see. Let's see if it makes it good. And that, that invested into it, and you know what? That's not so bad. Remember, my delay isn't increased. It's just my recharge rate. But once it starts moving, it's moving faster. Okay. We're going to pop this dude. 
I'm not sure if I got my shot off or not, but it is what it is. We sure I got this. Yeah, definitely did. All right, two more enemies, and they're, I'm looking at them. You're gone. And you're absolutely gone. A little melee. Fit for the lads. Now, Zero has no melee cooldown timer or override melee cooldown timer. So weapons or so things like Scorn. Whoever Scorn, I thought I saw it in this tree. Is it not in this tree? Oh, okay. I don't have Scorn. I must have been looking at, I must have been had it had it in a recent run. But if I did have Scorn from my Go I could just spam it Brrr, like a machine gun. If I wanted to. Let's take Ranger. Let's take Quick Charge. Getting to Money Shot. Anarchy plus Money Shot should be enough damage to carry us into the late portions. I'm hoping. If it's not, then that is what it is. Let's go for Team Accuracy. I think. Real speed or shield and shield capacity with amb ambush and two fang. I don't know if I have those skills. That was my problem. What is what does my current class mod give us? Team critical hit damage. I think I just stick with that, right? Maybe I am doing explosives mixing mixing this makes it a little bit harder to land crits, so I'm not too sure. The question yet unanswered. A lot a sticky lob slag transfusion. An amazing grenade. It's a slag one, I believe. Yep, it's slag. So that's insanely powerful. Off the charts powerful. If we get a, a Jolt Stew candy, we'll be happy to have both kinds of transfusions, both slag and non-slag, in case the raid boss are fighting you resist slag. I'm thinking of all the things now. Like, if we get a Jolt's candy, we want this these kinds of grenades with us. Get one shot, by the way. Look at that. That's pretty nice damage. My connection has been lost to the Steam servers. How could this... How could this happen to me? I just got done today. When I say just got done, I actually came home and slept a little bit. But I worked as a poll worker. Today. And I sat there and I worked the polls. They, I, there was a total, of, a total of I think like 28 people that voted where I was in their local elections, and it was very interesting. We got, we got there at 5 a.m. to make sure the polls were open for six. There was four, four, four poll workers, so I wasn't, I didn't feel bad about leaving. I signed up for a half day. Because the full day is 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. And I was like, I got it. I told them I got there. Like, they asked me what I was signed up for. And I, was, I said, I think one. And they're like, okay, well, that's news to me. Because they wanted me to stay the full day, obviously, so I can help do more stuff. Make things go faster for them. I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to get shamed when I, when I agreed to a certain amount of pay for a certain amount of hours. That's just how it goes on the ground, you know? That's just how it goes on the ground. So you be as pleasant as you can while you're there. But don't let anyone shame you for being a person who leaves if you agreed to leave at a certain time. Let's go money shot for four. So yeah, I it was a pretty good time. They, at the at the, the pool working place, they're supposed to be different party, like a, different kinds of party with Republican and Democrat there. And I think I'm a registered independent, and so was the other, I guess you could say, Democratic representative. And the other two ladies were Republican. And sometimes they did, they like, well, they're not really supposed to talk about politics at all. Like, at all. While you're there. Um, but there definitely was some chitter chatter. Let's get at her. Not, not a crazy amount. Like, we didn't talk about any of the candidates coming up, like, specifically Biden or Trump or anything like that. But there is definitely some people coming in and saying some stuff. And I think it's I think what ha ends up happening is they're they they're coming into a polling office and it's like their mindset is political. Like, oh I'm in a political mood. I'm making I'm going out to vote. But this is a 
polling office it's not a campaign rally but i think it's hard for people to to make that transition in their brain sometimes when they're in that in that current mood you know i believe you can get to the top of this and then there's a pressure pad up there correct or incorrect i, f I recently found where it was i thought maybe not all right we can roll out Mobbing tier, mo mobbing stage three, tier three, tier one. So I actually, in Jolts' community tab, I, I posted in his, what do you guys want for the final patch of Roguelands? I, I posted that one thing I would like, well, I, I kind of made a, you know, a pretty big post. Like, you know, I, I mean, I read Reddit. I don't really post on Reddit that much. My last Reddit post actually got, actually got deleted by the survivor. Uh, survivor mods survivor su the survivor subreddit mods because they said it was it was too like too like every other post that was going on and i thought i added a layer of context that they were missing but either way i didn't i didn't argue it it's like nope it's too like all the other ones because honestly they were probably afraid of a certain character in survivor receiving too much hate because it was getting kind of ridiculous so i basically made a a post saying you know like yeah, I, I don't want to spoil anyone's survivor experiences. So I said, yeah, this character was salty at the end, blah, 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 blah. And here's why the fans are mad about it. And I, I went into context about like, yeah, like this, this is why this is happening. This is why there's this pushback against this one particular person. But I guess because I think I was covering the same topic that some mod member mod members of that committee. Wow. That's a nice little plasma caster. What wouldn't you say? Let's see it against this, this HP or flash enemy. Yeah, we just rinse it. So anyways, <laughs> I started blasting. <laughs> Did I get did I pick up any explosive damage relic that I'm not using? Just by the way. No. I wouldn't miss that, surely. I'm getting some nice relics. So anyways, yeah, I worked at the polls. Pretty interesting. Came back, slept, because I woke up at 345 was my first alarm. I slept through that alarm to 355. Slept through that alarm to like 415. I was like, okay, I gotta get up. And I took got up, showered. Um, grabbed a protein bar and went to the poles. On the way there, I was really low on gas and I was barely going to make it because I took too much time slipping through my alarm. So, what did I do, you ask? Well, I was out of gas, didn't have time to go get gas, and on every downhill, I would let off the gas. Every downhill, I would let off the gas. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty hilly central New York. I mean, it's a pretty hilly place. I let off the gas to decrease my fuel usage, and my car has a fuel dam data tracker. So I was watching that. And every time I let off the gas, it spikes to 99.9, .9, you know, fuel. Well, miles per gallon. So, like, the more I let off the gas, especially going on downhills, the more gas I save. Bada bada boom. Not only that, but I also managed to save a couple minutes on the drive over. So I did stop by a gas station to get a splash of fuel. Got there right at 5 a.m. And if you're not early, you're late. I get that. But I was there at 5. And I talked to my team leader the night before and said, Are, do, is this a thing where people show up at 4.45? And she goes, no, you're good to show up at 5. So I showed up exactly at 5, walked in, said I'm here to help. And they introduced me and I just started working. Okay. Let's start making our way down the left side skill tree, I think. Let's, get, let's increase our gun damage while moving. Then we're going to go into no-kill like overkill. Then we're going to go the Tyrannosaurus skill. Then we're going to go steady. We can increase the amount of anarchy stacks that we have. We, we are not stuck at the current anarchy stack limit. That might come in handy later, but for right now, I don't think it's going to necessarily dictate our pace of play. I'm kind of letting the anarchy be a side piece 
to the overall build. I'm not, it's not, I'm not making it the build. I don't need to do that. I got enough damage other places, I think. Money shot, specifically. How about this turtle shield? It's better in every single stat across the board. I'm not necessarily doing health damage scaling. I'm more just kind of blasting kids with ravagers. Oh my gosh. The sound. Oh, loot enemy. Let's go. Loot take bomber. Loot take bomber. Loot take bomber. Everybody. Oh, yes. I got the perfect. I got the perfect skill for this. I'll get that rid of that off. I'm even getting the stacked anarchy on them. Oh, the bunker weapon. Let's go. But it fell through the floor. Did it actually? Oh my gosh. It fell right through the floor. That's crazy. It was here, then it was gone. My shot. They're on the table. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. That's some zombie stuff right there. Put me in zombies. Call me the number one. I did make a couple zombie videos in the past. They were pretty fun. They were just getting a lot less viewership than my other Call of Duty videos. So it's hard to keep going on them. Oh, how about a little Blaster to make up for it? Huh? Is that what it has to be? Let's go. Stay stay afar. Stay af stay afloat. I just got that thicker blaster here to float. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Let's do... Is there fire rate? Yeah, let's do fire rate. 31%. Give me that good blaster. I don't want to be firing this without accuracy. I'm going to be real honest with you. Don't want to be firing this without... I'm sorry, without fire rate. I'll fire. I'll use it, but I want a little bit of fire rate. Let's hope I can kill this guy. Doesn't look like I can. Let's get a little bit closer. I should have at least the up close damage. Yep. I don't want to fight uphill. Let's land a couple shots and they go down. There we go. They do drop child grenades. I gotta be careful about destroying myself. But that was a, and that was an intentional one. I took that damage on purpose. Not on purpose, but I took it knowing I was gonna take damage from it. Okay, not terrible. There we go, guys. We got a significant advantage on them right now. Oh, they're not gonna like that at all. Oh, they're not gonna like that at all. Let's go. Okay, so we haven't we have a fibber. A slag. But will it bag? That's a real question. It's the shotgun one. We could give it a try. That might get grenade damage scaling. I might I might check that out to see if it does get grenade damage scaling. Ooh, how about a loud fire leech? Mm, I'm kind of enjoying the slag that I'm getting from my current grenade, to be honest with you. Let's go. I don't know which one to go for that one. I can get more anarchy stacks or I can work towards. Now I would say this is probably more worth it. Steady for increased grenade damage. Let's go check out this February. I want to go see on Google Chromeskis. To go see if I can um, get grenade damage scaling from this version of the Fibber. Because if I can, this might be a pretty nice lag option for me. Okay, so I'm looking on, online right now. I'm trying to figure out which Fibber I have. Are these bullets arcing at all? No, this is definitely the shotgun Fibber. It has plus 600% projectiles. Okay. It has minus 360% damage. Okay. The minus fire rate. Minus reload speed, bigger mag size, and larger spread. Okay, let's roll it. I don't know if it gets grenade damage scaling, but let's roll it for a bit. I don't necessarily like having to go into... You know, like a Borderlands wiki in order to find information like that. I wish it was all available in-game, but, you know, that's that's not something. So anyways, I I made a... Like I was saying, I made a post on the Jolster community post of what I wanted... I've never done this. I've never gone in here. I'm such a bad player. Holy cow. And I made a post in there. And the post was... 
what I want to see change to the game was a format change. And I said that I think right now Roguelands Mini is 18 total rounds. And I broke it down to it is three mobbing rounds, one mini boss, one boss, one raid boss. So it's nine total mobbing rounds and uh, nine total boss rounds. Let's see if this thing's got the damage for the damage here. And I said, what if we bump the number up to 20 total rounds? 20 total rounds, but change the format so there's no more tier system. No more tier system. Instead, you just, you fight through roguelands like normal. You have, I, I, would, I would say, less raid bosses i recommended putting the raid bosses on rounds 18 and 19 and then 20 would be dragons that's a lot of raid bossing but at that point you're like refining your raid build refining your raid build and this is to see if it if it can take on the hardest challenge the dragons right so that's why i think i would like that but in, but instead of like more raids early on instead i asked if we could maybe get like a slaughter shaft type style map um, implemented. Let's just check this damage against this crib blaster. Just to see which one is going to do more damage. Um, I said that would be a pretty cool thing. Like, have that a format restructure. So, round 20 would be a dragon fight. Something like that, right? I think that could, could be pretty cool. Let me know what you think. Um, and I said that w when it comes to the difficulty scaling, I know you have to reset back to the main menu in order to scale up in order to scale up the difficulty i said you don't have to come up with a tier system for the, or to make that function like yes it'll be a little bit janky you'll set, reset us back to the main menu oh that was nice don't mind me i'll just grab a mongol for the future big mongol guy both anarchy i could see it being a little bit sketch yeah i could see that being a little bit sketch if we have anarchy a coach gun for stacking up anarchy might be good. Let's not use up all of our rocket ammo. That's not going to work. Will this work? There we go. Trespasser. Blockhead is very nice for grenade damage scaling. Very nice. It's got fire damage and splash and, uh, and grenade damage bonuses, which is nice. Okay, so we're going to go for steady. It's going to make all the weapons that we have a little bit better. The more splash we have, the better. Fire to the Terramorphous. Or sorry, the, the Blockhead fires and ricochets, which is nice. I don't have close enough, which is unfortunate. Which is why I'm a little bit afraid to go more stacks of Anarchy. Because without close enough, it really becomes starts to become a pretty big debuff. So I think that could be a cool change. Um, if we did 20 rounds and then... We scaled it. Oh, a little Norfleet action? Don't mind if I do. And it's a shock Norfleet. So now, now I can stack up Anarchy to the gills. I can stack Anarchy to the gills. Let's, let's mix this up a little bit now. Let's think about this. Launcher, maxed. 100%. Maxed. Assault Rifle, Curb Blaster. And... Let's do one Grenage, one Shotgun. And that's all we got. That's all we got left. Let's go. Ooh, a little Shock Damage Norfleet for your action? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Okay, shock damage is what is going to be useful against this boss. I'm happy to have it. Hopefully, this Northfleet can do some big deeps here. To stack up anarchy, I'm going to say this blockhead is going to do just fine. We can also use this unkept herald. I picked up. Let's replace this Hulk with the unkept herald, and let's take this this Hulk and make it a blaster. Now, this boss does, I believe, resist. He definitely resists slag. We'll let's see if we can get a slag grenade going. Check, check for dots. The check for the dots, two. 
One, fire. Okay, that's an instant phase on Kromorax. Let's not waste any shots. Let's go right to the blockhead. Holy moly. And my next my next North Fleet shot is going to be a money shot. Although I don't get the full money shot bonus. It's still something. Oh, this blockhead. This is it right here. Oh my gosh. Yes. I can aim a little bit low with this thing, and it does just fine. Because it ricochets off the ground. Okay, we did get we did get a a Jolt's candy. I don't think we need to rely on it unless we need to rely on it. No one's gonna no one's gonna pick that up and troll us. I don't think. Alright, so let's go ahead and swap to our North Fleet. Try to get a grenade off. Fire. Okay, that should be a face. Just about. I really don't want to shoot another shot if I don't have to. Let's just let's just uncapped herald them down to the to the phase. There we go. We can always just use the uncapped herald. Obviously, this thing would go absolutely off if you if you run it. I'm gonna use blackhead because it's more fun. This is, I mean, uncapped herald is fun, but when you have to, when you have a lot do a lot of videos with builds that don't have skills that can carry you like my shot like anarchy it's nice to use some of the other weapons in the game that that you're not relying so hard upon in some of the other runs jolt's two candy is still right here chill we have a north fleet shot ready for this guy we're gonna zero out grenage here we go he was slagged that time and he gets bagged that time for sure Like where we're at. I like where we're at. A little anarchy, a little fleet, a little money shot. I wanted to see if Sanity Saver could help me save my anarchy stacks between tiers here. That could be something. Oh, a loot enemy. Let's go. We found one. A hammer buster. Not a bad assault rifle. Jacob's legendary assault rifles. I think they go pretty hard. Oh, you've returned. Okay. Let's go ahead and swap. Zero. Hope to get a Grenage. Mmm, fire. That's it. And we end up with 150 stacks of Anarchy. Can't complain. If we wanted to respect, this would be a good time. Don't see a reason to do it at the end of the day. <laughs> the man says without checking his skills, but that's tier one down. Down skis, down skis. So that's big. If if any of you guys are watching the the Pokey Rogue content, I I have it set to not uh, pop up for my subscribers. I think what I might do is, if I have a series that's doing well analytically without having that box checked. I will then switch it to maybe pushing to my subscribers. Who knows? We'll see how it does. But I do, I am playing Poke Rogue on the side, and I just unlocked my favorite Pokemon, Snorlax, as a starter Pokemon. So I'm probably going to be playing that later today. And it's going to be a great time. We had, we actually got through that without Jolt Candy. That's crazy. Yeah, it's. I would say Poke Rogue is a good roguelike. And I'm not that great at it, so sometimes I can get frustrated with it. I did that all without incendiary damage, by the way, or or without the launcher damage. I think we might have we might have a build that goes the distance. Honestly, we got a nice boss to shoot at. To be real with you, I think Cool Knight right? probably goes the hardest in, in a build like that, where you just run around with the North Fleet and try to shoot the dragons with it. I think honestly, it's what we're going to do. We're going to just run around with North Fleet and blast dragons. And that means that we don't necessarily care about how high we get our anarchy stacks. As far as the accuracy debuff, we're not going to really mind it. I just need a transformer shield, all. What did we get for our oh, big boom blaster? That's a perfect combo. Every single booster pack that we pick up now will give us a grenade and rocket ammo. Amazing stuff. So now we can really just run around with our Norfleet. The black hole could be good as well. And we roll. 
Oh, we have time for trivia. Let's go. This is us. Okay, where did I face my shooter? Do you want you to shoot him? Come on now. Don't give me the easy ones. Give me the ones that are difficult. Who's the main antagonist? Come on. You guys... I've, I've seen some difficult... What is the highest percent you can roll on the legendary sham? Now, this is a question right here. 94%. Oh! Three for three. He's that dude. On the tier two we go. So, it kind of feels like a pretty big, like, build-up through tier one. At least in... In my opinion, it feels like a pretty big build-up to beat that first raid boss, and then you start way back at the beginning. I think that the raid bosses should be kind of towards the end of the run. Like, there's this, there's a lot of falling action. I think... I don't know. I... I, I kind of wish that it was, like, just the regular bosses, which can be, in, which can be sometimes even harder than the raid bosses. But just some regular bosses to go fight as you rank up. And you can slow the rate of loot down. Way, way down, probably. From whatever Rogue Lance mini is at. Like, even keep it just ro Rogue Lance proper scaling. And just give it that sort of, like, you know, 20 total rounds. 21 for the final mini game. I also asked for... Again, I, I asked for Slaughter Shaft-esque maps um, to be considered to be added in as a mainstay. And... I also asked for a mini game where a bunch of EXP loaders spawn in and you try to juke them. And, and like you maybe you don't maybe you don't you won't get access to your guns for that round or something. That'd be crazy. Okay, we can just be we can just be north fleeting. Not sure why we're not. Okay, the jukes. If we see shield boosters, we pick them up. There we go. Should also stack anarchy pretty reliably. Ultimate badass. Did you pick up my shield booster? I'm getting rocket ammo back. Isn't that crazy? It's not insane. Oh, they all walked forward. See you later. Shoot the bat ultimate badass. I'm done to 11 shots, but I'm feeling good like I should. Feeling blessed, never stressed. Blast you, and now we grab this. Boom! Eight shots now. Isn't that insane? Is that not just the most ridiculous thing you ever did say? Let's go more steady. Maybe some elemental empathy. We will be doing gigantic dots, right? Doesn't this do like gigantic dots? Shock damage per second is 169. No, it does about the same amount as this. Blockhead, which is crazy to me. Do we have any more splash damage scaling anywhere? I mean, I could start going down this skill tree. I, I don't want to make my, my North Fleet max size too small, because right now it's only firing. Its max size is four. And it consumes, what, three ammo per shot? I don't want to accidentally knock it down to only three. At the end of the day, kind of want to try. I think we're okay there. Let's see, what's his total max size? It's still four. We're chilling. Nice. Also, if I shoot this, do will I take any t any dot damage for my for my shield booster? So I, can I cheese rounds? Is what I'm saying. It's a big boom blaster. It's not gonna be able to keep up entirely with this North Fleet consumption. Not without some supplemental ammo regeneration. And that can come in the form of picking launchers up off the ground. That can come in the form of just rocket ammo off the ground. But as far as collecting ammo, you're going to have to take damage. Then let the big boom blaster... Little... Oh, what's it called? Shield pack spawn. This little Nova pack spawn. Pick them up and then get your ammo back. This gives you a little bit better ammo regeneration. It's nothing, it's nothing crazy crazy. Speaking of crazy, crazy, what do we get here? A sheriff's badge, which is pretty nice. I think in the end game, that'd be pretty nice. I think I don't think that's anything that we want. We have to go down check. Extra shot chance. Honestly, that could go pretty nuts. But it's gonna increase my ammo consumption with the North Fleet, and I don't really necessarily want that. Oh yeah. Up up here. I, I would honestly I would use my coach gun 
If I found a chest that I knew that I could stack up anarchy on, I would just stack up my anarchy to max. Maybe even consider increasing my max, but we'll see. Pressure plate, pressure plate, where do you be? You're only in tier two, so it could be a waste of time for thee. <laughs> Holy. Let's roll. TDR shotty on the small map. To the Badlands we go. Should we Skaggity Skags? Yeah. Well, I mean, they don't know about the Baggity Bags. That's their that's their biggest problem. Oh, oh see ya. All gone. Yeah, we can shock ourselves, right? We're running out of blammo. Hey, let's just let this rabbit skag ding me up a little bit. Give me some rockets back. Hey, give me give me a booster. How about a booster? <laughs> don't on my run, please. If you don't mind. Whoa, okay. I said don't on my run. I thought you were already dead. Oh, we're still back. No boosters. You really did me did you did me like that. I think we just go pistol the, the sheriff's badges for a minute. This uncapped herald. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? Lie in the morning, demonetize. So you never know with how long. If you go for one tooth too long, it could be that. That could be what it, what takes you down. People ask me why don't you have music on the channel? Like I probably should run some music in the background, but every time I've done music, I think I've just incorporated it wrong. This game does have some background music. It doesn't have nothing. Eat this, rabbit skag. Stacking up our anarchy passively. We're not going absolutely crazy with it. Maybe we won't need to. We do have money shot after all. There we go. Everything gets amped. We will, we will hit up the pressure plate. Whoa, you're 15 out of 15, aren't you? Pressure plate me here. Looking for different options. Different options. Does any of this stuff help me? No, I don't think so. We roll. A casual Hulk, we take it just in case it's better than the current one. And let's go for the nth degree. By nth degree, I mean grit. <laughs> I think that could have maybe some 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 nice benefits for us. Now the Bing Boom Blaster was good, but it's not going to be good enough. Ammo regen wise, as we saw, the North Fleet is a, my North Fleet is officially low in ammo. In fact, it's officially out of ammo. And I don't think the game prioritizes launch ammo the same way it does other kinds. So we're going to have to use it a little bit more sparingly. Alright, let's maybe turn down our, our audio for this stage. There we go. We can still hear the game, trust me. It's just the echo of the walls. It was pretty insane. We have a ton of fun options right now. This blockhead is doing a fantastic job with these flesh enemies. We pick up those boosters, obviously. The more boosters we can get, the better. But the, the unfortunate thing is that these guys can't do damage to me. Just, they just struggle to do damage. Let's get a good angle on this. On these guys back here, actually. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Get that, get that blaster, or get that... Yeah, that big moon blaster pack. Call it a BBB. Call, call, call it a BBBP. Triple BP, big boom blaster pack. We do have a Juicos candy here. We can use it to try to cheese the next round, which I obviously am not against because I've done it multiple times in the past. I think. I think nth degree might have something a little bit more for us than than the fleet. And we, we were doing that all, you know, with a with a pistol badge on. What if I put on a you know a bandit shotgun badge or a a, a shotgun badge like I just did? Now this thing is going to go much like even harder. You know what I'm saying? 
Imagine if Anarchy stacked differently. What if, what if if you missed, if you fired a whole magazine, and missed all of them and didn't and didn't land a single shot, then your Anarchy goes to zero instead, and you get to reload however you want. But if you reload without landing a shot, Anarchy goes to zero. That could be kind of nice. That could be a cool feature. And a little anarchy rework. Just make sure you land your shots. And you can still have a stack on reload, obviously, I would say. As long as you land your shot. So you can stack it up on one enemy really fast. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. Three, two, one, grab two so candy. Happy to have it, I think, on this stage. Happy to have it. Yeah, because we can cheese this one. Let's go straight for straight for the boss here. Mortar goes down. He drops a heartbreaker, I think. That's that's a nice get. We go for as many kills as we can here. The big the big lads if we can. The big lads. Yeah, I think I lost my bonus. I can turn back up the audio. Audio every now and then I want to put my audio back up to three. All right, this should be the last enemy right here. Yep, we cheesed it. Thank you to Juso's Candy for being a hard carry right there. Okay. Let's go fleet this time. An unstoppable force. I mean, I, realistically, we won't have our shields down for very long. But when they do go down, having that extra movement speed is going to be quite nice to let my shields get back up and topped off. Like, the Big Boom Blaster makes a lot of sense. Our North Fleet should be back up to a decent amount of ammo. Get that reload off. So. Big, boom blast Big Boom Blaster Packs, obviously, make a lot of sense to pick up as we go here. Shoot some bottles and let your body waddles. There we go. Okay, and then we roll into the final medicine bottle, big medicine bottle. Then we go to mini boss. Then we go to the the boss round for tier two. And we climb. We climb the mountain to its highest peak. Saying hello to travelers on our way. Hmm. I don't have boars. The singularity doesn't mean a whole lot to me, to be honest with you. My grenade right now, Felix, crumb to the crumb. Okay, let's roll. Continuing simulation in two. What? We have a little bit of bossity boss boss. A corrosive damage weapon would go crazy here. Let's have this. Let's have this uh, plasma caster in the back just in case we need it. I want to go Sheriff's Badge here. Okay, let's roll. Toss this bad boy out. Makes it all the way up there. Come on, Saturn. I thought you were scary. I thought you'd do big deeps. He's like, I do do big deeps. Why are you running? Why are you running to the cheese spot? If I don't, if I don't have big deeps, why don't? Why did you run to the the cheesiest spot in the entire game? You know, you got me there. Could you help me farm up my big boom blaster, please? That's doing okay damage. How about this one right here? That's doing ridiculous damage. That's got to be getting grenade damage scaling or something. Who knows what that's getting, but that's... That's shredding them. Okay, so we should, might be able to find a Hyperion chest around here, even though I think this is... I don't think you really can, actually. Godfinger or Thunderball Fist? Mm. Tough to get those as my legendary choices. Ward is a, just a nice skill. We have a nice defensive synergy coming in here now. Bigger shields, stronger shields, matching grip quads. Always welcome. Always welcome. We get our ethereal gift box and a couple more chests and we can roll out. Did you drop anything? You dropped the peak opener. I mean, y you cannot blame me for running it. Anyone that, everyone in the comments section that's like, he's going to run it again. Look, I have used all different kinds of weapons this run. 
I've been varied. I mean, I have Norfleet, Plasma Caster, Sandhawk, Sandhawk. <laughs> what do you want from me? So, I think we roll. Number one thing on my bucket list right now is Assault Rifle STUs. Okay. My launcher's are already capped. Let's go for Shotgun STU because of Heartbreaker. Grenage, cap it. Pistol, uncapped Herald, I think we I think we cap it. And and that nice That nice SMG this goes pretty hard. What do you have for me? How about uh the same plasma caster but in fire? I mean you can't blame the guy. He gave me a top yeah. Let's roll. 76 stack of stacks of anarchy should be enough to get the job done here. We do get Terramorphous. We should be fine. Will that top Nia do a lot of damage? We might not have to even find out here. Let's go ahead and slap it on. I do want to try top Nia. Just for the sake of doing it. And let's slap on, I think, incendiary damage. And see. Because if this can do damage to Terramorphous, then that means that launcher builds work. If it doesn't do the damage to Terramorphous, then that means launcher builds don't work. Let's try it. Then if it doesn't work, we swap over to, I think, a Blockhead. Um, and then if that doesn't work, then we go to Heartbreaker. If that doesn't work, we go to Peak Opener. Uncapped Heralds. All different kinds of options. Alright, so that's my first grenade. Let's zero out to the side. Hopefully, this person will be slagged. That's not terrible damage. It's actually good damage. It's actually it's actually pretty good. I, I, I won't hold it against it. This is going to eat up all my ammo. But then again, I'm going to be getting a lot more ammo as I progress. Let's try Norfleet. And see how the Norfleet can do. Fire. I think Northfleet does a pretty good job as well. It eats up a lot more ammo. Whereas this sh should one tap these lads. Yeah, and I can fire it like a lot more. Yeah, that's, that's kind of like it's a nice draw. It's only consuming one ammo per shot. And still giving me that nice big chunk of damage. Okay, we have a torque grip interfacer here. Probably could be better, but it's not. It, it's probably not the worst thing in the world. Okay, and our reward for this is a Tattler or an Infection. How about a Tattler? Sure, why not? Get no points, so we roll. Not a bad tier two. Got Topnia. That that should help us against the Shock Dragon if we want to go. You know, if we want to go peak opener against most of the lads, we'll have that Topnia in the back pocket against Shock Dragon. Norfleet. I can also just spam Norfleet. We're going to have a lot of different options as far as destroying these lads. This, this, this run might have the gusto to get us all the way there. But we will see. Like anything, it can all come crumbling down against the first Goliath blast that we see. Especially heading into tier 3. I don't want to be like, yeah, we got this. Because what happens when we hit a constructor, you know? Drink some water. Because we're yapping away. All right, cooldown rate is a, pretty much a must. I think the incendiary damage went pretty okay. I think I can continue going it if I want to go blockhead, for instance. But I, I, I can go all kinds of different things. Pop, give me my gubs. A double gub is all I would want. <laughs> nope. I think I want the one with the lowest mag size. I should get the highest damage, right? 45, 2, 3, 1, 6. Now this one's faster. The, four, the same fire rate. Let's do this one. This one has more higher damage, the faster fire rate. <laughs> All the gubs. Okay. Let's rock. Let's rock today. We go into deception. And you know what? Let's let's honestly just top Nia for starters here. Let's not mess around with this, this stage too much. We have a good build for a reason. Let's use it. 
I got second winded there, which is a little bit troublesome. Hopefully we can get a heal back. Toss that over there. Should be free kill right here. Bada bing, bada boom. No boosters on the ground, huh? Oh, there's a pressure plate. Let's go. Tier 3 is pressure plate city. I knew it was somewhere. Last time I fought here, I couldn't find it. Hey, where'd it go? There it is. Okay. Okay, so we get another peak opener. That's how you know it's destiny. Ooh, we also have a way to scale our pistol damage with explosive damage when now, or with grenade damage now with this Hector's Paradise. Take the peak opener, obviously. Okay. If I had a relic to go with, if I had a relic to go with my peak opener, maybe I would do that. But for now, I'm kind of feeling this, this top Nia. Oh, what you got for me? Okay, we do get an assault rifle damage relic. Let's keep going top. Little top, little Nia. So I will say, shooting my all my rockets is probably not the best idea. Okay, with the shock damage, we will be swapping to the peak opener. Which one of these is better? They are exactly the same. I can just pick my, my site I like better, or are they exactly the same as well? Is every peak opener like that? Yeah. Okay, let's roll. We got our shock damage. Fire rate is probably best, but reload speed is probably good too. Let's take the 34% reload speed and the extra shield capacity. I'm pretty sure I'll be shooting it fast enough to get through my magazine quickly. There we go. Okay, so let's go ward. Let's go Unstoppable Force. I understand that fleet doesn't have the most synergy with that, but let's take it. Then I think, honestly, we go something like Immolate and Last Ditch Effort. This give us a ton of damage when we go down. Like, Immolate, fire damage when we go down, last ditch effort, a bunch of gun damage and moves when we go down. Like, make it really hard to kill us. And did I see Redeem the Soul somewhere? That would make it even harder to kill us? No, I don't see it anywhere. Yeah, but I think getting to Immolate and getting to last ditch effort are probably both going to be things that we want. Elemental Empathy would be good, too. Just in case any of these guys are... Yeah. Look, I mean, look at this heavy Nomad just chilling over here like he owns the place. We gotta go for him first. Give me that, give me that, that booster back. Okay, we take ourselves down, basically, here. Oh, Heavy Nomad survived. Just look at that. Yeah, he definitely... He's definitely a problem. So is this guy, apparently. So I'm dead. Yeah, I'm right back down to the... Right back down to the shadowy depths of the Abyss. Okay. We're, we're so back. Stop messing around, just use Norfleet. There we go. Alright, Sludge's shotgun. Don't, do not throw this run. We got we got plenty of ammo regen now. Let's just blast him. Okay. Sprint up. Pyrex candy, thank you. I want to thank you for this. what you're about to do to these guys. There, 15 out of 15. Very good. Now, on this stage, I know that I can stack up my anarchy... Uh, quite a bit. So it might be something that I'm interested in doing. Get all the ready my can, and then, then these relics have a mind of their own sometimes. Okay. Let's go for... I don't really want anything else in this skill tree, but I guess kill confirmed makes a little bit of sense to get down to immolate. Can't take it right now, but that's, not, that's fine. So if we shoot this bad boy right here... With a shotgun, I can stack up my skill pretty quickly here. My anarchy. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll see you guys in a second. Just so you can see how this works. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. All right. I'll see you guys in a, in a, in a little bit. Okay. I used up all my ammo, and it got me 75 stacks. So what I can do is, while I'm still at zero ammo, I'm going to open up a couple chests around. Try to get some more shotgun ammo, and then come back. Let's see if I can pull this off so you guys can see. There's my, there's my reward right there. Um... Open up, every, open up as many chests as you can when your ammo is on zero. Whatever weapon type you want. And then it will prioritize. So then we can always just, just keep make a mental note of where these are. Oh, what's up there? That could be something good. 
Can I just jump up there? Oh no. It's gonna be one of those things I can never do when I'm falling. Okay, what if I did this right here? This is the way. This is the way, get me up there. And I'm up. I won't fall. And I won't die. What is it? Don't fall off the edge? It's a hard carry with a smaller percentage than the one that I already have. Shoot! <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna look for more shotgun ammo. I'll see you guys here in a second. On the road again. 75, 76. Beautiful. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, I got to 106. I think I'm happy with that. Let's move on. Let's roll out. Okay, so we probably want to swap back to our North Fleet here. We could go peak opener, but I'm... I, after that last performance, I'm not that... Not that crazy impressed by it. Let's just start shooting. He's the deception out here. Yep. He's upset. He's upset. Get a reload off. Get a reload off. Blast him with this. Grit helping me right there. Don't go down. Don't go down here. What happened to my grenade? Why is it this trash? I want my... I want my nice slag transfusion back. There we go. There we go. We roll. Transfusions will find me. Do not worry about that. Transfusions will find me. Oh my head crusher, Goliath. All right, here we go. We say goodbye to all of you. You will be missed. Train, don't kill me. And we pass across. Big boom blaster pack. Big boom blaster pack. Boom. Go one rocket pack. Yeah. Blast them. Not bad. There we go. 120. Swap to peak opener. It shares a very similar damage profile to the North Fleet. Oh, a little big boom blaster. For some reason, isn't doing anything to that guy. There we go. Come on, peak opener. Show me your stuff here. You're the goat. You're, you're the, you're the, you are the goat of rogue lands. You need to put, put out some deeps here. Okay, through the fence. I respect that damage. Very nice. All right, 130 stacks. I think we are pretty comfortable with that amount. I think Elemental Empathy does make sense here. But so does in Immolate. So we'll go Immolate. And I will go Last Ditch Effort. There could definitely be some... Some swappity swoop rockety roop. Respec going on before the, the, the dragon fight. That much is certain. That much we know for sure. I'm known for it. It's become something that I... Something... Oh, the rocket ammo. Okay. Let's jump across. There we go. We made it out alive. What did you drop for me? Extra shot chance or blood of... The blood of Terramorphosis. Nope. The fridge. Let's go to the fridge. Nice. This should be a pretty easy section. Go ahead. See what, see what you got. Oh, big boom blast for me. That was a waste. That was already full. Later. I seem to be hurting my own shield every single shot, but... I don't know. I'm not sure if it's not working against me, or... I don't know. My shield seems to be doing just fine. Let's, let's, let's use this to spam out grenades and save ourselves some ammo. Okay. Go ahead. Keep spawning, keep spawning. Keep spawning while I got Jolt's candy. Oh, big boom blaster action. Get him, grenades. Okay, my power-up is over now. I probably could have spammed it a little bit more, but... Oh, yeah, I definitely could have spammed it a little bit more. Later, kid. 143 stacks of anarchy. For those to keeping track. Oh, you guys want to be alive. Is that what it is? You can just go peek opener. Hopefully that works. Oh, big boom blaster. Thank you. Keep my rocket ammo up. If you don't mind. Alrighty. Feeling strong. Feeling like the world 
Is there an oyster? And there's nothing that can go wrong. Oh gosh. Perfect. Let's roll. Dude, curse the run saying nothing can go wrong. No, you curse the run. By, imp by implying that there's a curse in the first place. That was your fault. You did that, not me. Okay. He's definitely going to blink away. No. I probably should have insta-swapped over to my peak opener, but you know, it is what it is. This guy... This guy wants me to chase around for 24 hours a day. It's just not going to happen. Okay, so let's go Plasma Caster. Plasma Caster. I don't see a top near or anything here, so let's roll. Do we go Legendary Sniper or Legendary Killer? That's a good question. I think Legendary Killer just makes more sense here. And we're going to go Last Ditch Effort. So when we go down, we'll, not only, we'll get 40% gun damage, 70% movement speed. And an extra 50% weapon damage on top of that. Like, nothing could survive that, right? If this, if we manage to Norfleet a dragon, it should just die, right? I shouldn't have to worry about it. Anything could happen in this so silly little game, but... I feel like I shouldn't have to worry about it that much. I do have a Heartbreaker I can swap to at any point, but actually, I'm actually going to find the Blockhead. You might be wondering what I'm looking for. It's the Blockhead. Here we go. And let's use this deputy's badge, and this should do the trick here. The final boss before dragons. Okay. Let's go. How's that damage? It's not bad at all. Haven't used deception yet either. Maybe I want to. Maybe I do. Maybe I most certainly do. Oh, I'm down. I'm full down. Good thing Torque Vision's here, but it won't stay here for long. Do I just use Peak Opener? Okay, I understand what happened here. You guys got upset. You want to end the run. I completely get it. Completely understand. Let me just let me help you out by not ending the run. That's what I'll, that's what I will add, I will add to this party. I will add some, at least one person not trying to end the run. There we go. <laughs> Dude just swaps to North Fleet and one shots the map. Correct. Are there any more questions? <laughs> oh, it's so easy nowadays. Holy smokes. Okay, let's see. Nirvana we take just for the, for the thrill of it. Thrill of it. Cool not rate, reload speed for the thrill of it. I think that legendary hunter could go crazy. Chain lightning is good. Okay, let's go collect the other loot over here, and then we're gonna be rolling out to sanctuary, and that's gonna be the end. Do we did we do enough this this round to earn ourselves a win? I think we're gonna have to earn it. I don't I don't think our work is done. I think we're gonna have to earn it in this dragon fight with deceptions. And pray that we can survive. Realistically. My defensive game is just not quite there yet. I think I like that one a little bit better. Yeah, the extra cooldown rate is going to be big. In the dragon fight for me. Okay, let's roll. To Sanctuary we go. Do we hit a box or do we go for STUs? I think we have enough STUs. I think we might want to hit a box. Box me. Give me something good to eat here. Hector's Paradise is a good weapon. No, I'm not taking that. Let's go. Come on. Something delicious, something juicy. Unicorn's Bosun, sure, why not? Two Slayers of Terramorphous class mods. That's crazy talk. Wow, a lot of explosive damage weapons, actually. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go completely invested into these. A couple and then hit F2. That way I can save my my iridium for the boss. A respec is in order here, I think. Let's go ahead and do that. The final respec. 
so what really my 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 strategy would do doing these final oh i lost all my anarchy stacks hey whatever don't need them take everything that's useful right and by useful i mean usually not a kill skill And we do want to take immolates. So grit, useful, smaller, faster, useful, and degree, useful, but I don't think I necessarily want it for this fight. Yeah, I don't think I want the nth degree for this fight because I want to make sure I get the right targets down. Take money shot, and I do, I am going to prioritize getting down to immolate because I think it is important. Okay, so let's go down this. Let's guys go tree now. Last ditch effort is a must take. Stick like wins. Steady. Elemental empathy. Tyrannosaurus for extra health regen. Grit. Smart letter faster. Crisis management. Fleet, obviously, is a good one. Hmm. Bloodlust stacks? Do we care about bloodlust stacks? Oh, we took a point of resurgence. That's not useful at all. It's going to cost us points into ward. It's not worth it. I'm going to respect one more time. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so our final three points are going to go into emulate. That's about what we can about what we can do. Now, let's go for something to bring down the dragon. Something consistent. Something easy. Something that can maybe do the job. No problem. Is the Tattler. All right, we bring down green first. Activate this defense shrine. Get Mr. Green down here. Deception out. Hopefully they all use their first abilities on this guy and not me. Spit out a lad. Spit out a lad. Okay. Without anarchy, this is going to be doing a lot less damage. I'm going to want to be just using deception on cooldown. Making sure that I am ready for whatever comes next. Deception on cooldown is a must. This is a money shot nor a fleet shot. It's going to do a lot. There we go. Big boom blaster me. Can we take Gru down in one face? That's good. We should be getting lots of big boom blasters from this. We have red on the ground now, which isn't the worst thing in the world. But get all my big boom blasters. Getting tons of them, which is nice. Super nice. Now I can. I, I feel a lot better about using this North Fleet in for this guy right here right now. There we go. Come on. Get him down. This is gonna kill the lads around me, but I think it might be worth. Get two more shots here. There, red is down. Very nice. That's worth it. No, now purple's down here with me. Good. No longer need the big to use the big boom blaster. Very, very nice. Now, unfortunately, I did not have a way to kill this guy very quickly. I can use uncapped herald with a little bit of. Pistol damage kicker. Let's see how this goes. Let me just pray that it does a lot of damage. Seems to be doing quite nicely. Ladies and gentlemen. We got a little bit of big, big, big boom blaster there. We can use that if we would like. But this has been a very fast dragon kill. No anarchy really needed, to be honest with you. Just the, the North Fleet kind of did it by itself. With money shot, of course. Okay. Let's finish what we started. Let's get this top near back here. How many shots is it at? I think it's just that one shot, right? Yeah, we're going to save it for the kill shot. J Captain Jack Sparrow style. Don't get cocky here, though. Oh, nice. We might get, we might get a second shot. Use the Tattler to hopefully bring this guy down. Tattler... Uh, now I officially consider it not a consistent, not a very consistent uh, way to bring down enemies because it's got that slow projectile speed. Oh, big move blaster me. Thank you. All you're doing is buffing me up. All you're doing is making it easier for me to kill you. Okay, here we go. Topnia, me. It's, got, it's a money shot shot. It should go crazy here. Oh, come on. No way he survives that. I need to do a, a manual reload here. 
Big boom blasters, though. Boom, boom. Nice. Let's go. GG. Shoot, ever, shoot all of our rockets into the sky. A very, very, very nice round. Had a great time doing it. Very fun. Anarchy, the money shot, come pouring in. And a nice cast of weapons to boot. You cannot complain about that cast of weapons. Absolutely not. And we can reload whenever we want now. We don't have to worry about it for, until we get the next time we get Anarchy, which is sick. All right. Climb to the very top of the mountain. Rogue Lands complete. Oh, thank you all very much so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.